Okay guys, time for another dad friendly meal. And uh, this is one of my favorites. It's actually, uh, uh, I've, I've done this before, but I haven't made it in a long time. And uh, I actually was inspired to, to, to make this again uh, from my buddy uh, Ray Mac over at his YouTube channel. I'll put a link to his channel in the description below. But he made this uh, French onion dip sandwich. And uh, it, it looked really good, and I've, I've done similar things in the past, so I'm going to do, do a similar one. I'm not doing the, the exact same one that he did, but I'm doing my version of it, and it is a fantastic sandwich. So, I have to tell you, dads, get yourself one of these. Crock-Pot. Definitely. Uh, it's like one of the best things you could, you could ever get. For cooking, especially you know you're busy working. I'm actually going to get this prepared, get this set up the night before, and then put this in the refrigerator. And then in the morning when I get up, I'll put it put put it back in the crock pot. I'm, I'm just going to take the liner, put this in the refrigerator. And if you notice, I'm using the uh, what's called a uh, slow cooker liner. Um, it's made by Reynolds slow cooker liners. These things are awesome. It really helps with the uh, the cleanup. So you literally just lift this up, toss it in the trash when you're done, and it just makes so much easier to clean up. So I'm literally going to dump everything in this crock pot and then put this in the refrigerator. And then in the morning, I'll start it in uh, eight hours on low, and you will see how easy this is. So this can't be any easier. So I have here two large sweet onions that I've chopped like this, sliced up like this. It's all going, don't worry if you think that's an awful lot of onions, it's really not because this is basically like a French onion soup. So you're going to want a lot of onions and they are just going to dissolve down during the cooking process. my hands real quick and I have here some beef broth some white wine some Worcestershire sauce salt and pepper and some thyme and I do I forgot I need one thing for this I need some olive oil so you're gonna need olive oil and probably about two tablespoons or about that much. Okay, in goes the beef. This is a three pound, three pound top, uh, top shoulder chuck. I'm just gonna lay that right in there. Yeah, that's a, uh, a chuck roast, shoulder roast. Always remember to wash your hands. Don't want any cross contamination. Okay, now go with some fresh ground black pepper. Use as little. There's a lot of you. You know, I like a lot of black pepper, so I use a lot of black pepper. Some salt. I'm gonna go with a teaspoon of kosher salt for now. I can adjust that later. <clears throat> now I'm gonna take this whole container of the beef broth. This is a 32 ounce container. Uh, the description below will have all the, the actual ingredient list, so you don't have to take notes right now. So we're just gonna add this beef broth. And we're only going to need about half of this container of wine. This is a 50 ml, so we'll do about, so that's, that'll be about three quarters of a cup of that white wine. 
And then for the time, I'm just going to do, do about that much. It's about a teaspoon. And for the Worcestershire, we're still, same thing, we're just going to eyeball it. About that much. It's probably a couple of tablespoons. Looks like I need to get me some more Worcestershire. Okay. We have everything in here now. I'm just going to, where to put my top? I'm just going to put the top on this. And then put this in the refrigerator overnight. And then in the morning, it'll be ready to go. And by dinner time, we'll be having some French dip sandwiches. French onion soup dip. Okay, home from work and it smells absolutely amazing in here. Let's take a look. Oh, it smells absolutely incredible. Uh, it's been eight hours. I'll put this in this morning before going off to work, right out of the refrigerator. And it's been going all day. I just want to like stir this around a little bit. Oh man, I can tell that is so gone tender. Uh, let me taste that juice. Taste that French onion soup, essentially. I'm just going to add a little bit more salt. Needs a tad bit more salt. Tastes awesome, though. So I'm going to add another teaspoon of kosher salt. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is just amazing. I'm actually just going to tear this apart like this with my uh, tongs right into the juice. And uh, just got home from work, so we're not ready to eat yet. But actually, uh, nobody's home yet but me, so I'm just going to go ahead and get this shredded up, get this ready, and then we'll make some sandwiches. Stay tuned. Okay, the beef is ready. I've got a uh, a roll here with some Swiss cheese. Now it's time for dinner. I'm just going to take a bunch of this hot beef with the onions and everything. Place it on the roll. And then close it up just a little bit. The cheese kind of melted. Move this over back over here. Okay, I've got a uh, cup of au jus here. Actually, let me cut this in, in half first. Be easier to eat. There we have it. French onion dip sandwich. See how it tastes. Just dip it in a little bit of the au
That is so awesome. There you go, guys. It can't get much easier than this. Get a crock pot. I'll put a link in the description box below of uh, this particular model that I have that you can you can buy on Amazon. Thanks a lot.